I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. parents. This is Miss Cleo back again this week, hoping that you have written a story, putting it in a folder for your children to remember for their history. I'm going to tell you a part of my history to this morning um, that I put in my folder so my children and grandchildren can remember me when and my great-grandchildren when I'm gone. But this is a story of um, when I was a young, very young person. I was a teenager. Maybe I was 19, 20. Maybe I was 19 or 20. I don't know. But my brother and sister had gone off to college, and I was the only one that didn't go. Um, so I stayed with my mother, and I felt like an adult and I paid half, the, I had a job and I paid half the rent and half the lights and I thought that that was just wonderful and I thought maybe, maybe give my mom something and I was very proud of myself for doing that because my mother never asked me for anything. But I knew that I was an adult and I had to pay my way. Um, I guess I knew that because my parents always worked and because they never said anything. So um, I just felt that that was what you were supposed to do, so that's, that's what I did. And then one day I decided that I wanted to have my own apartment. And I would, was looking in the paper and doing all of these things because I told my mother I was getting my apartment. I was grown, I was getting my apartment. My mother never said nothing. She was a kind of quiet lady. She never, she said, all right, Cleo. And so I found this ad in the, um, Harvard Current uh, about an apartment on Nile Street. So I said, oh, wow. I didn't think um, too much. The, the color thing didn't hit me. You know, I never thought about color or race or anything like that. You know, when I was going up on Nile Street, which was basically a street where, where mostly white people lived, didn't think anything about that. So I went um, and the day I called up and made an appointment to, to meet the landlord, and of course I got very nervous and very scared, and I didn't know why I was so scared, but I was scared, so I said, Ma, could you come with me? She said, yes, Cleo, I'll go with you. So my mother comes with me, walk into this lady's house. Um, she was a French lady, and um, she talks to me for a while, and she says, no, no wild parties, knowing I wasn't the type to have a wild party anyway. Of course, I really wish I was the type to have the wild party, but I wasn't. So um, my mother says, oh, no, she's not going to have any wild parties. So the lady gave me the apartment, and she said, um, the only reason I'm giving you this apartment is because your mom came with you. Otherwise, you wouldn't get this apartment. So I was grateful for that. And I got the apartment, and I started cleaning up, and then my mom came with me. Um, and we had such a wonderful day. We cleaned the apartment. We did all of these things. It was just a wonderful day that I will never forget. My mother helping me get my first apartment together. <clears throat> and then night came. And so my mother, she started to put on her coat. And I said, Ma, where are you going? She said, Cleo, this is your home and now I'm going to my home. It hit me like a ton of bricks. My mother is leaving me in this place by myself. Oh, I was so nervous. And my mother went out the door and if anyone could have felt more alone than I, I don't know who could have. I felt completely alone in this strange place and I had to sleep here? Oh my goodness, I was so nervous, but I slept there that night. And I got up that next morning and I, I went to work and then I went to my mom's house. And I stayed to my mom's house until I couldn't stay any longer. Then I 
and I went back to this place that I didn't think about as my home. I think it was this place that I had to be in all by myself. And I went there. And after a while, I got comfortable with it and was very happy to have my own place. And my friends would come and they say, oh, Cleo, how lucky you are. And I played up to it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I got this and I got that. Oh, yes. I played up to that. But at first I was very, very lonely, but I did not tell my friends. And it was a new experience for me. There were a lot of new experiences from that day on. A lot of things that I had to learn that uh, mom and dad didn't even tell me, didn't give me a whisper about the things that would happen to me um, and the things that I would have to deal with. But I guess that's all in the learning. So that's my story, that first apartment. And it, it taught me a lesson because when I became director of a soup kitchen and we used to get people apartments, oh, and they would come back and I said, what are you doing in a shelter today? We got you that apartment. We spent all that time getting you that apartment and you're, you're here? Why are you here? And they would say to me, but Cleo, I don't know what to do there. I'm by myself there. I don't know what to do in that apartment. And they would come back and they would sleep in the shelters. But I understood very well what they were going through. Thank you for being with me today. And remember, Write a little for your children for remembering sake. And just stick it in a little folder. And also make them read. Don't give them a choice. 15 minutes, half hour, make them read every day for their benefit. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next week with another story or another whatever. You have a good week. See you next week.